What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't watched my other videos, how I'm structuring my YouTube channel here in 22 is every Tuesday I'm gonna be releasing kind of a how-to formal uh, teaching you something type of video. And then every week we're gonna be releasing a vlog every Friday morning. So for those of you that are new to the channel, be on the lookout, click the notification bell. But in today's video, we're gonna be walking you guys through how to get to 100K per month in profit doing wholesale real estate. This video could honestly be 30, 40 minutes if I wanted to and I could talk about everything. But in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a few actionable steps for where we've seen success because we're obviously a six figure a month company. I wouldn't be talking about it if I wasn't doing it. So with that said, let's get right into the video. So one of the most important things in 2022 to be able to get to six figures a month is lead flow. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. What I've seen and what works in our business are things like cold calling and SMS, which is just texting. But some of my buddies and some of the biggest people in this industry are trying other methods where it's not direct to seller, it's actually sellers coming to them. And that's through PPC and SEO. So that's Google ads, um, ranking on Google to be able to have people click on certain keywords like selling your house for cash, uh, selling distressed property, whatever, you name it, people pay to get those leads. So there's not one way right to do it in this business. I mean, I'm doing cold calling and SMS and other businesses are doing PPC and SEO. So there's a couple of differences that could affect which marketing channel you should start in. In my opinion, if you're at that 10 to 20K a month and trying to get to six figures a month, it's honestly not hard. It's probably just a lead flow problem. And so what you're essentially gonna need to do with cold calling and SMS is just get more records. We just purchased nearly a million records in the Atlanta area. We do the Georgia Atlanta market. Um, and so more opportunities equal more deals and more profit at the end of the day. So the more people we're reaching, we obviously had to expand our cold call operation. We, I mean, last year alone, we did a little bit over half a million dollars with just three callers. And so now we're getting to that range of eight to 10 callers full time on payroll. And I figured we might as well reinvest back in the market because honestly, that's probably the only way you're going to get to six figures a month in profit. But there, as, I, as I mentioned before, there are other marketing opportunities like PPC and SEO where you're actually giving budgets. It's kind of like Facebook ads where you're giving uh, a third party a budget of how much you can spend and then they're going to come back and you're going to get leads from people that are probably more motivated than a cold call and SMS lead because those people have to type in certain keywords to be able to come to you and fill out a form and show interest in selling. The only thing with PPC and SEO is if you are at that 10 to probably 30 to 40K a month mark, you could probably try it, but you're gonna need a decent ad spend, at least a few thousand dollars per month. And it's just going to go up exponentially from there for you to be able to get more and more leads. Cause essentially you're paying a few hundred dollars every single lead. So if you need 40 leads to close a deal, I'm just kind of throwing out a number there, but if you need 40 leads to close a deal, you can times that by how much it costs per lead. And that's basically what you're gonna need for a budget to go out and get leads. So number two, and something a lot of people don't talk about, having a good system in place can really change your business. Last year, they said we did that much money, but we really didn't have any systems in place. There was no formal training when I brought on guys. There was no certain way to make an offer. We just kind of played it by year and made an offer because every situation is a little bit different, which is not a bad way of doing it. But once we started implementing certain processes to be able to have my lead managers and acquisition guys have a certain script, uh, kind of rule out any possible objections with sellers um, and really just dig deep into the conversation a little bit better with structure, we started seeing a lot more success. One thing that we shifted this year in our business, and obviously there's, this isn't the only right way to do it, but um, instead of just having cold call to acquisition manager actually making the offer to close the deal, now we have a system where we added another level in between and that's what we call a lead manager to go ahead and qualify prospects even further. Essentially what they're doing is taking the cold call and sifting through needles in the haystack in our CRM of thousands of leads and trying to find people that are actually motivated to sell, actually have a decent price and 
are actually ready to go. We started seeing that in our business, we were just making offers and losing them because we really didn't know anything behind the lead. We didn't know their true motivation, their true timeline. But with structure, we've been able to kind of cut out any objections that a seller could possibly have. So when they get passed over to the acquisition manager, there's a really high rate of closing because these people are pretty much ready to go. We've qualified the price, the condition, the timeline, and there's probably some motivation to it. And so number three, probably the most important and game changer for our business in 2021 and going into 2022 was finding some of the strongest buyers in your market. Now you can pretty much wholesale anywhere in the country doing virtual or if you live in that market, but I tried to pick a market where there's a lot of private equity money, which is therefore hedge funds making really high offers that are pretty much close to retail. As a business owner, I wanted to be in a market where we could get really high profit margins. I didn't want to do five, 10, 15K deals, I wanted bigger ones like 30, 40, 50K. But at the same time, we're spending the same amount per lead as somebody in a market that the average spread would be five, $10,000. And some of the ways we ended up getting some of our strongest buyers, and this is something that I haven't talked about a lot, is the power of LinkedIn. So I use LinkedIn in my business to network with pretty big fund managers, hedge fund guys, because I tried to use some sort of reverse psychology to figure out where are these guys located. You have to think a lot of these guys in private equity and hedge funds are real professional guys. These aren't small businesses, right? And a lot of times when you guys think of LinkedIn, it's a very professional platform. So what I've been doing is kind of reaching out and finding new hedge funds, finding their acquisition guys, finding their analysts and, tr and truly just sending them a message saying, hey, my company is buying anywhere between 10 to 30 properties a month. We're looking to offload a bunch of them at the moment. Would love to send some your way. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Something as simple as that could get you a connection that could make you millions of dollars in the future. So for a couple months, uh, especially at the end of 2021, I was really trying to diversify our buyers rather than having one, two big ones. I wanted 15, 20, and really, we've really seen a lot of success from it because when these funds that are bigger and start changing their criteria on you, it's hard with some of the data you have to go and sell them. So the fact that we've diversified, we have all these different funds that can are pretty much willing to buy anything and everything because everybody has their own criteria. We found a lot of success going ahead and selling pretty much any deal that has some sort of equity in it. And then there's obviously, finally, the last way you can do it. I mean, there's tons of ways to find buyers, but honestly, some of the best buyers I've found is just through JVing through people. So kind of shamelessly plug, if you have a deal in Georgia, Atlanta, anywhere in kind of the Georgia surrounding Atlanta market, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to get you an offer price with some of the funds that I work with and hopefully we can get you an offer pretty close to retail. But with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. As I said, I could talk about this forever. This is my passion. I do it every single day. I'm not just a person talking about it. We really run our own business. But um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I'll respond to every single person. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can kind of see the day-to-day -day operations of what we do and how we're scaling our wholesale real estate business in 2022. With that said, I hope you guys do enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.